Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be playing through a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Cascadero. Yes, this game is designed by Reiner Kenitia, illustrated by Ian O'Toole, and published by Bitewing Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, the towns are in ruin. <laughs> they are completely ruined. And so El Cascadero, the new ruler, has summoned us as his ministers to try to reunite the towns by sending out our envoys and getting the people to retrust us. Yes, the kingdom is a little bit shattered. Um, I don't know about ruined, <laughs> per ruined. se, but it is our job as a minister is to try to reunite all of the towns across the land. And so this is a game for two to four players where we are primarily going to be placing out our envoys onto a map and then pushing up on various success tracks. And so as per usual, we are going to start with the teacher of the game and then go straight into our two player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now we do have to mention this is a prototype copy of the game so things are subject to change in the future. If you are interested in this game there will be a link to the campaign down in the description. Lastly if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future please consider subscribing. And with that we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table we're all set up here for a two-player game of Cascadero. Welcome to the town. That's them. Now, before we continue, I do want to mention a couple of things. The first thing is we are playing with the base game side of the board. Mm -hmm. The opposite side of the board shows the farmer's board, which is a different variant of the game. And we'll be discussing that variant briefly at the very end of the video. And the other thing is because this is a prototype copy of the game, the components are going to be subject to change, including these player discs. Mm -hmm. So in the final version, I hear they are going to be replaced by cubes. Right. And so in this game, players are going to be taking turns placing out one of their envoys onto the map. And and so once you place out an envoy, your turn ends. So player turns are very, very simple and very quick. Now across the map, you'll see a variety of colored spaces and some that are empty. And so the colored spaces are the areas that represent towns. Thematically, each town represents a different aspect of the kingdom. For example, we have the blue mining towns, yellow agricultural towns, the orange manufacturing, as well as the pink, which stands for trading. And we have a fifth kind of town, which are these white educational towns that the ruler, the El Cascadero himself, manages. And so each player in the game is also going to play as a specific color that correlates to the town. And so as that minister, it is your responsibility to try to be as successful in that specific town color as possible. Because over the the course of the game, as we place out our envoys onto the map, we're going to be pushing up on these various success tracks. And so at the very end of the game, only players who have reached the very top of their own player color success track is eligible to win. Right. So if you're not up there, you can't win. Correct. Unless nobody reaches the top of their success track. And in that case, then uh, you would only gain a minor victory. But who wants a minor victory, right? It's you not what major. you're going for. Yeah. No. <laughs> and so over the course of the game, we're going to be taking turns placing out our envoys. So let's just say for the first turn, I place mine here. You can only place envoys out onto empty fields, which are these spaces that don't have color, and only one person's envoy can exist in a space. Right, let's just say I will go here. Okay. At the end of your turn, you're also going to check for what's called town scoring. And town scoring only happens if, after you place out an envoy, you form a group, and a group is two or more envoys of neighboring fields. And so in this case, I have formed a two envoy group. And the envoy that I just placed has to be adjacent to a town that this group was not previously adjacent to. Mm -hmm. And so in this example, the envoy is part of a group that was not previously adjacent to that town, which means I'm going to score for orange. Now, when scoring a town, you're going to advance up that corresponding success track. If my envoy was the very first one to neighbor the town that I'm scoring like that, then I would only advance up one on the orange track. But since because uh, Naveen had an envoy already there, I actually get to advance up two spaces. Thematically, the lone rider is untrustworthy to the people of this town. Mm -hmm. But as more envoys are present, there's a little bit more trust in all the envoys there. Hence why there's more success. <laughs> yes, and the similar reason as to why you need to form a group and you cannot uh, score a town with just one envoy because groups are a little bit more trustworthy. In addition, we have four of these herald uh, pieces on four of the maps on the board. And when scoring any of those four towns, you gain an additional advancement on the track, which means you're either going to go up two or three spaces. Now, in advancing up the various success tracks, there are also a few of these action spaces that you'll be able to resolve when reaching those thresholds. Yes. <laughs> 
Now, whenever you reach or exceed one of the purple banners on the left-hand side of the track, then you get to take that specific action or gain the benefit. And by the way, the purple banners on the left correspond to the first four success tracks, and the ones on the right are only for the white educational track. And these actions are fairly straightforward. The first person who reaches any of the uh, thresholds with the point symbols on them gets the higher number of points, mm -hmm. and then anybody afterwards who reaches those thresholds gets the lower number. These actions allow you to advance on a success track of your choice, and then the third type of action will allow you to take another turn immediately after taking this one. You also notice that there are these spaces that have seals on them that are sort of in the folds of these ribbons. And those spaces are unique because in order to activate the benefit, you have to land exactly on that spot. And so if I actually pass that spot, then I don't get to activate it at all. The first player to land exactly on that spot must collect the seal that's in that spot. And seals in this game allow you to activate talent scoring with just one envoy. You're basically upgrading the envoy. Yeah, thematically what's going on here, you have the seal of El Cascadero, the mm -hmm. one true ruler of the whole town that people trust. So if you're coming to the town as a lone rider with that seal in hand, people trust you. Mm -hmm. Once that seal is gone, then any other players who land on that spot get to activate that action, which essentially lets you move uh, one of your envoys on the board to an adjacent location. Like that. Yes. And moving an envoy, by the way, never leads to town scoring. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially how the tracks work. Now, the one last thing to consider in this game are there are 12 different achievements that we are going to be competing for. And you can claim any number of these on your turn. The difference is that the top six only get awarded to the first player to accomplish those achievements. And it's to be things like being the first player to have three seals in front of them, not the ones on the board, or having five of your discs in the first uh, achievement banner, or having three discs on the second one, or one disc at the very, very top here. And we also have achievements for connecting various towns. So if you're the first person to connect uh, five, or basically all five of the different colors with one continuous grouping, mm -hmm. then you'll collect that. Or if you're the first person to connect three of the same color. The bottom six are friendly, so everybody can score these, and they basically award you two points for connecting two towns of the same color. And there's one spot for each of the five colors. This last spot here gets achieved immediately if you're able to uh, achieve all of the other five. Mm -hmm. And it essentially just awards you an additional 10 points. Now, points are going to be awarded throughout the game. And this is very important because the game ends as soon as somebody has reached at least 50 points. And there's a little flower symbol here uh, to make you remember that. Alternatively, the game could also end if somebody places their last envoy piece and the game ends after their turn. At that point, only the players who have reached the very top of their own color success track is eligible to win. Mm -hmm. And between those players, whoever has the most points wins. And that's essentially it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are cleaned up real fast. We uh, <laughs> just have to figure out who is gonna be going first. What do okay. you wanna do? Rochambeau. All right. One, one two, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, hey. so, so Naveen gets yeah. the first player marker, which is never going to rotate because after we start going in the game, it's just basically gonna going to keep going until it ends. I don't want to go first. No? No. Well, you must. I must. So please, whenever you're ready, take the first turn. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by taking a real simple action. I'm going to uh -huh. place an envoy next to this education spot. Interesting. The educational towns, by the way, are the only ones that don't have a herald on them. Mm -hmm. So the heralds do give a bit of a boost for the uh, first four towns here. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start by placing mine out here. So neither of these placements trigger a town scoring because they are single riders. So it's back to you. I'll place an envoy at this bottom section here. Okay. And that is totally legal. You do not have to continue branching off from where you are. You can mm -hmm. place any anywhere. anywhere on the board. And that is actually so nice for me because I'm going to place my envoy here, which now forms a group with my previously placed one. And I am now adjacent to a town that I was not previously connected to mm -hmm. with that group, <laughs> if that makes sense. So this means I'm going to have some town scoring for the blue track. Because I am not the only envoy there, there is another one in a neighboring spot, I'm going to get to advance two spaces because I'm a little bit more trustworthy <laughs> than bit. before. Just a bit. Which actually earns me two points because I have reached this first uh, purple banner and I'm the first one to do so. So I gain two points right now. This was mutually beneficial, Monique, yeah. because you set up in my orange territory. <laughs> so I will do the exact same thing right there. So now I have created a two-person group. There was a previous envoy there, yes. so I get to advance twice. Twice. So now uh -huh. I get my two points. Very good. That works out. And it seems we are playing a bit of a cautious game here. We want to advance on our own tracks because uh, you want to make we, it to the top. 
we may have played a game where neither of us made it to the top of, of our success right. tracks. So <laughs> Minor victories. Right. All right. Back to me. I'm going to go ahead and place here. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically continuing this group that was already created. And now I am adjacent to a town that it was not previously connected to, which is the educational town. Naveen was already here, which means I get to move up twice on the, the white track. So it's going to score me two points for getting there first. Yep. All right. I think I'm going to set myself up with this envoy right on that little yellow spot. Okay. And of course, this doesn't score. This envoy is untrustworthy to the agricultural town. <laughs> right. All right. So then I'm going to continue my uh, my That's line right. here. And I'm going to go uh, connecting to this yellow town that happens to have a herald. So it's not super ideal because I am the first one there, which means I only get to advance up one plus one more for the herald being in that town. So two total advancements. I was actually hoping to get the seal, yeah. but then I just realized that I was the first one there. So it's another two points. Well, for me, I think I'm going to do some heralding. Uh, let's go ahead <laughs> okay. and put myself into this slot there. So same kind of thing like you just did. Yes. Uh, but I'm going to move up twice on, the pink on that track. track, meaning okay. I get two points. Yes. One, two. So you are winning. Very good. All right, back to me. I'm going to place an envoy here. So you can activate the same town multiple times. It just has to be with different distinct groups. Um, and also one other thing that we forgot to mention are on the success track, there are these forbidden spaces. These have X's on them because you can't actually uh, land on them, but they still count as spaces. They do. So if you are on this space of each track and you need to progress up further, you actually have to go up by at least two because if you go up by one, it keeps you on that spot, if that makes sense. All right, back to you. Back to me. Well, I had plans to score this one a second time, and this envoy is bothering me, so I'm going to have to try to score it now. Okay. So here we go. So we are connecting a different group to the same town that I've already scored once. Right. So this is a legal play. Um, had I placed this envoy here, this would be still a continuation, and yeah. that would not score. So I definitely need to place it here. Right. Because I feel like you would have cut me off. <laughs> so I'm doing that. Uh, so uh, we're going to score. We're actually going to go up three times on this particular track. And so you're scoring the pink. Is it trading? I am, yes. So you're going to bypass so something the seal. specific here. One, One, two, boom, three. So All you right. stay here. Because that's exactly the example they were talking about. You do get to activate that, though. I do. And so what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to plop myself up on this orange track, <gasps> knowing that I need a seal. You get a seal. And I need to get myself up on that yeah, track very good. over there. So uh, hopefully I can get three of these so I can then do that. To get that achievement? Yeah. Nice. Well... Very good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and place this here now while I still can. Yep. Boom. So this has formed a new group. It is now adjacent to this pink town, and there are several people there. So base advancement is two plus one for the herald. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three. I get the seal. I also get the one point. I need to re remember uh, to get the rewards that you pass right. as well. So... Yay. All right. Very good. Need to move up some other tracks. I see a really nice spot right here for myself to get some action. So I'm going to take this envoy, place them into this mining town. And so now we have a separate group in here. Yeah. So I'm going to move up two spots, one, two, and that's going to get me one passive point. Yes. Perfect. What? I was worried. I was worried you that see? you would go here. Oh, uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> if Dang you it. had gone there, then I would have had no choice but to, because uh, if I had if I'd gone here, then it would connect my group, and I'm already it's already adjacent to that town. Right. So going here gives me a different distinct group adjacent to this town, giving me two advancements on blue, which is my color. So that's great. One, two, and I get to advance on a different track. I'm gonna advance up the pink track because this will trigger that action again, allowing me to advance up something which I think will be yellow, so I can claim this seal. Very good. All right. Yeah. I've got two seals. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and just drop myself off into uh, this slot here. Okay. Back to me. I think I'm going to just plop this off and not do any town scoring, but this will claim me an achievement, I think, mm -hmm. because I have, with this one group, I've connected pink, blue, orange, white, and yellow. So that's all five colors. Unbelievable. <laughs> so I claim this achievement. My flag is held high. And again, three points. Only one, one person two, can do three. that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta make up that ground. You have two seals, I have one. That's what this is. Okay, so I'm gonna place out an envoy. I'm a little jealous of your activities. So I'd like to move up three spaces. So because Ooh. I've created a new group here, you're already present. Yeah. Plus uh, this white piece is here. Yes. I'm gonna move up three. So we're gonna go one, two, 
three. Nice. I pass through this, so I do get a point. And then now, because there's no seal there, I get to move one of my envoys uh, one space adjacent. Yeah. Uh, but I do not get to score a town. So I'm just going to slip this one here. Okay. You're trying yeah. to score pink again? I mean, maybe. <laughs> and it's not really worth it for you to do that. It would just be a waste of a turn for right. you to block it. I think I am just going to place an envoy up here. Mm. I'm starting somewhere else. A little fresh. Yeah. Well, before you do uh, realize that you want to take this, I'm going to go ahead and put <laughs> this. I'll put this here. I'd like to expand out a little bit oh, more. Oh, so you're going to allow so me to I'll let to you go, go ahead and do that, but I, yeah, don't, it's, I don't see it doing anything for a you. It's useless. Yeah. So I will put that there. That yeah. means I'm going to go up one, two, three on the pink. Pink. Which so means. So you are orange. Seal time. So one, two. Almost sealed. No, time. no, no, sorry. One, two, three. That's yeah, you right. don't get the seal. <laughs> it's fine. I'll still take it. Wait, you're going to get to go again. Okay, I let's will, do this. Yeah. When you take uh, multiple rewards, you have to take them in order. So one, one two, two, so you get three points. I will take three being points. Being the first one, person. Two, three. And then three. I should have been the pink player. <laughs> this action allows you to take a new turn immediately, and you always take that action last. You get another placement. That's nice. I do. Well, seeing as I'm in the margins here and I really got to get my orange moving, I see an opportunity to just place on orange. So okay. let's go ahead and place one out there. Very I have good. now connected the orange, so I'm going to go ahead and go up, triggering this ability here. Yeah. I do want to seal, <gasps> so let's go ahead and just take that. Nice. All right. All right, well, back to me. I'm going to go over here. So mm. this is going to allow me... I forward, This is a different group from this one. So I'm going to be able to go up three, three on yellow, yellow yep. which is good because it'll push me past uh, the forbidden zone. Yep. Oh, God, I wish this were blue. <laughs> okay, so we're here, right? Yep. One, two, three. You get three points. So I get to move up first. Oh, yeah, sure. And I think I'm going to move up here. Oh, dang it. Which gets me seal. my third seal and immediately gets me this achievement. So three points for that. One, two, three. And then I have landed myself on this space, which I'm the first person to do. So it's another one, two, three. Mm. Oh my goodness. I need to get up on blue though. So now I need to spend these seals. It's gonna be all for naught if, you know? Yeah. Well, now that you have the three seal achievement, I might as well spend them because yeah, I that is true. have no reason to hold on to them. So, upgrade away. Upgrade away. I would like to get the benefit of this spot right there. Oh. So, I am gonna go ahead and get myself up the blue because I want to be at the top row here so I can move up passively. So you up. go uh, one. Oh no, that's only it's one. Just one. It just is one. one. Yeah. Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> okay. And since I'm in the margin here, I definitely wanna move up so I can do it again. Uh huh. And you can either get a head start or get a start, I guess, on the white track, or you can claim that seal. Knowing that having all five of these reach this spot and you're also back here, yeah. I I'm going to move up here. I'm going to take a chance. Maybe oh. I can get a passive point along the way. Okay. Yeah, I don't Interesting. know what I'm doing. I shouldn't have said it out loud. All right, back to me. I'm going to place an envoy here. So uh, this is the group. It is newly connected to white, which means I can go up one space on the white track. Mm -hmm. And this lets me take another turn. Sure. And so I think I'm just going to place um, an envoy here. And this now connects the original group, which means I claim a couple of achievements. I've connected two, wait, sorry, not yellow. <laughs> wait, what are connected to? Okay, white and white. Your white and white got connected. Okay, so that's this. So that's two points. Uh -huh. my, uh, my pink, my pink is the other one, the pink and this one. Wow. So two pinks are connected. So that's- I should have probably done something about this. This achievement this <laughs> and that's two points. Uh. Yeah, the group, the group scoring thing is probably the heart and soul of the game. Um, it's pretty much building up your group, trying to, to utilize them to score towns, and then trying to connect them. Yeah, I'm right? not doing any of that. Well, I'm going to send my seal and my Cascadero envoy out to this spot there. Okay. Uh, so now I've created its own separate group, so that means I'm going to move up one, two, to get those three points right there. Yeah, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, I need to get some bonuses. There's one way to do it right now with one placement. So okay. I'm gonna take my envoy and drop it off into this spot. I'm not gonna score Ooh. because it's all one big group, but I did connect my oranges here. So I do get to put a flag out onto that spot. Yes, And I get every player color has a spot. So mm -hmm. you get two points. Two points. Okay, very good. All right, I think I'm just going to connect to this blue town. Mm. So it's my first time uh, reaching that town. Yep. And you're already there, so I go up twice. So this is me. One, two. I'm the first one to get there. Uh. One, two, three. And I connected. This is the first time, I think, that I'm connecting two blue towns. Two blues, yeah. It's this blue and this one. Mm. 
So I'm going to go ahead and claim my own personal achievement for that. And that's two points. Oh my gosh, I'm halfway to the end, but I'm not. We need to get to the top of our tracks. <laughs> You're doing great. You're ahead on all of it, points and tracks. The thing is, even if I get to the end, to 50 points, if you can get up the track and I don't get up there, then you win. I want to win. So it's yeah, not just about I the I do want to win. Okay, I think I'm going to use my seal, and I'm going to plop myself into this slot here. Nice. So that means this is going to allow me to go up uh, twice on orange, which yeah. is what I need. So one, two. I am going to score three points. Finally, points. One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. Points. Okay. Uh. All right. Well, I'm going to upgrade an envoy as well. So I'm going to place this envoy next to blue. I guess I'll go here. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So to. it is going to score. It's not a part of that group. And I'm going to go up twice. So one, two. I'm going to go ahead and collect this seal. And because I passed this, I get to take another action, which I think I'll use to place my envoy here, which it now forms a, crew, a group and connects to yellow. Okay. So I'll push up once on the track. That let me take another action. Oh, stop taking um, action. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take an action. <laughs> which I will just use to connect this back to the larger group. Okay. Uh, so I mm, think now I'm connecting two yellow towns. Yeah, I don't know if that was no, that's good. necessarily the best move, but I've connected two yellow towns, which I don't think I have done before. Nope. So that is another achievement. Yeah, you're getting points. That's two points. I am still fearful because got to get to the top of my track. All right. Well, let's go ahead. And speaking of orange, yeah. I will go ahead and place out here. Okay. So that way I'm connecting these. And then... Um, so that's one. It's going to be one. Okay, you get to take another I turn. I get to take another turn, which is good. Yeah. So with another turn, I'm going to go ahead and place this one yeah. out onto that spot. This is going to be now moving up twice on the uh, education track. Okay, so you're going to go one, up one, two, two, so that's one point. One point, I'll take a point. And then you can points. move You can move a, can move. an envoy. So I'm going to go ahead and slip this one down like that. Oh, interesting. Just into that slot. All right, time to upgrade another envoy. So I'm going to upgrade this one and go all the way over here. Mm. So it's time to reach my heralded to the north. mining town. To the north. So uh, I will be able to go up twice because of the herald that's there. So one, two, which okay. gives me an additional advancement. And I think I'll push up on yellow. So let's just go up one, oops, here. Mm -hmm. And that'll get me a seal. Seal okay. longer. <laughs> yes. Order of seals. Back to you. Well, uh, I see a way to get a uh, achievement? achievement. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take it. Okay. So I'm going to place this one here, and that's going to allow me to connect to that. So I, I go up one. Okay. And I am the first person to have at least everything in this row on these uh, fleur de lis. Yeah, the first achievement banner. So I did something. I get three points nice. for doing that. So it's going to be one, two, three. Yep, and you get to take another turn. Oh, immediately. I get to take another one. All right, so there's another turn that I want, and yeah. the turn that I want is connecting but that one. You're not going to be able to. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yes, you're right. Of the forbidden zone. The negativo. All right. <laughs> so with that envoy, let's go ahead and place them here. Okay. Gonna get a little closer. All right, I'm going to upgrade another envoy here. Yeah. Uh, let's just focus on my blue mining track because I am the mining minister. Uh, after all. Ooh, hold on. Decisions need to be made. So I know I'm definitely going to place it adjacent to this town. Okay. But you know what? I think I'll place it here just to be closer to orange and pink instead of pink and white. Okay. Because I'm I'm at that, you know. A little threshold. That threshold there. So you go up uh, two on the track, I believe? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, I go up three, three. because there's already another um, envoy here and yes. there's a, a, a herald. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. This gets me three points. One, two, three. And this will let me take another turn, which I'm just going to use to place an envoy here. So this is a distinct group, and it is now neighboring yellow. So I will push up twice on the yellow track. So one, two. This lets me go up another achievement track, and I think I will just yeah. go up here. Because you know what? I don't know what kind of benefit there is to continue progressing up orange now that I've just left it behind. Sure. So. Oof, man. Back to you. Killing it. Well, I'm a little jealous of all your seals, and there's one way to get one. <laughs> okay. And that is by my setup from the last time. I'm connecting into this location, so I go up exactly one spot. Boom. Right there. I have a seal. You claim a seal. All there right. You go. In addition to this seal, I have now connected uh, two pinks, so I do get to place one of these out Very on good. this location, is it? Yeah. So two points. two points. 
There you go. Mm-hmm. Since I'm pretty close to reaching the top of my track, I guess I might as well start uh, to continue to push for points because we are slowly running out of envoys. Mm-hmm. And again, that is another way the game can end. So I'm just going to place my envoy here, which connects this, not that one, this group to the larger contiguous group, which means I think I've now connected three towns of the same color. Oh, so there's this dang. blue and this blue and that blue. Oh, you did. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you did. That's it. Oh, I was okay. close to that. <laughs> dang it. So that's three points. One, two, three. And that's it. Back to you. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and send out an envoy. And I'm going to connect here. Mm. So that way now I have this uh, 2x bump on the pink. Right. And this group is separate from that this one. one. Yeah. Okay. So two so on the pink. Here you. Yep. One, one two. two. You get to move up anywhere. Okay. We're going to move up the orange so I can get a seal. Nice. Must have seals. <laughs> You've been wanting those seals. I have. All right. Back to me. Mm. I'm just going to place an envoy here. So this doesn't do anything. Okay, we'll set up though, huh? Yeah. All right, I think I can sneak three points uh, and I'm gonna do that, so. so move two spaces? Two spaces, All so white. I think I have to use a seal though in order to do this. Okay. And I will put a seal out here. So now um, I can go ahead and score this. So it's gonna be two. Two? Yep. So one, one two. two. To get three points. Three points, one, two, three. Okay. All right, and now to finish that setup move uh, from the last turn, I'm gonna go here. So this now connects to orange. I get to move up twice on orange. Oh my gosh, I'm so behind. So that's one point. Mm. And uh, I believe I've now connected two orange towns because previously I hadn't. So this is one large group. I think the only group that's not connected to this is this one. So this is an orange town that it's adjacent to. Yep. And now it kind of went around and that's the second one. Oh boy. So I believe the way this works is I claim my flag here, getting two points. And now that I have a flag on all five of the colors here, I get my sixth one oh, man. on the final achievement, which Don't gets play me, like me 10 points oh my gosh. immediately. So 36 goes to 46, and we're four points away from ending the game. Well, I've definitely seen the errors of my ways. I should not have let you just have the middle of the board. I should have been <laughs> analyzing what you were potentially able to score and blocking it out, because it's I think like three or four times you yeah. made a, a thing where it's like, ah, that setup move, then finish this, and I didn't recognize the setup I move. I think a big aspect of the game is cutting each other off. Yeah, and I and didn't do that. I think it's easier to do in higher player counts. Yeah, probably. But in a two-player game, yeah. I was very <laughs> like, I girl. will connect these two cities, but it's going to take me four turns when yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. connecting them in two. So, anywho, I will play my last Envoy here, because I'm assuming you're going to end it uh, there. So that's mm-hmm. going to be another one. I go up uh, two on this, one, two, and then I get a passive move up. Let's go the only one that can legally passively move because everything else is in the margins yeah. is this one to get a seal which i think is going to be a little too late a se- <laughs> I think it's going to be a little too late well a seal means uh el cascadero thinks a little bit highly of you they trusted right? me they to trusted hold this you. scroll <laughs> yeah. okay well i think i think i will be able to end it because i'm going to upgrade an envoy and i'm just gonna plop it i actually put myself here in the two worst positions because if you alternate spaces then i could get you can get a third one in there Mm -hmm. but that's not happening with so so many seals you can go anywhere you go yeah (laughs) i'm gonna go off to uh, a different town over here and just score one uh go up one on the blue that scores me three points one two three which means i'm one short of ending the game but i believe that gets me this achievement it does because it's just one token to get to the very uh, third banner so that's another three points. Ah. One, oh, wait, yeah, one, one two, two, three. three. Ooh. That is it. We've crossed the 50 line, and that is the end of the game. My people so. will go away. <laughs> the blue no. will rise. No, we're we will just, serve under you. No, it's not a hierarchy. <laughs> it's just uh, I was a little bit more uh, persuasive, I guess, in this more kingdom. More successful, I can, and because the tracks are successful. Yeah, we can all still have tea together. It's fine. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. That is Cascadero at two players. Um, and so, again, this game plays up to four players. And at higher player counts, it is going to be a, a bit of a different feel because the name of the game it really is cutting off routes. And as you can see here, you can do a lot of setting up of moves. Like you can set up a, a turn where you place out uh, an on 
Envoy here, for example, and then now on your next turn, you'll have the option of scoring the pink or the orange. Mm -hmm. And so in a two-player game, it's a lot more open in that sense, so you can kind of start here and then go there and go there. But in higher player counts, the board size stays the same. So it's going to be a lot harder for you to do something like this, for example. People mm -hmm. are going to be cutting each other off uh, constantly. Yeah, it's the same amount of hexes. You don't yes. block anything off as you see in a two-player game. So in a four-player game, mm -hmm. you have to wait, you know, survive three other turns for yeah. your setup move to, to kind of pay off. Right. Now, like we were mentioning at the beginning of the video, there are other variants you can play. You can start with the heralds on different towns, and so mm -hmm. that's what these other symbols are. You can also play with fewer heralds, and you can play with the opposite side of the board, which is called the farmer board. When using that side, you're also going to be using these farmer tokens. And so these are placed on locked spaces on the board that have a farmer icon on them. Once a player lands on one of these spaces with that farmer icon, they can actually take the action of the space. And so it's going to be a lot of the actions that you see on these success tracks. Mm -hmm. But before you can even land on one of these tiles, you have to first place one of your envoys adjacent to that farmer space to unlock it. And then it becomes unlocked for you to now uh, venture onto that space. So it does add some different strategic decisions because those fields are not just open, mm -hmm. just like they are uh, on our board here. Now they are also launching a roll and write version of this game titled Cascadito, which is also a video that we have made. So if you are interested in checking out that one, we have a link up here as well as in the description down below. Now, if you're interested in this particular game, there is a link in the description as well for the campaign. If you have any questions about anything you saw here, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.